Keith here with another statistical video and in this one I'm going to look at doing ANOVA in version 17 of Minitab because it's rather different from the way you would go about that in previous versions. Now the first thing you'll have to do is actually get all the options available. If I go stat ANOVA here, at least in my setup, it's only showing these two options for the ANOVA. So I'm going customize stat and then scrolling down until I find ANOVA and add this button to the toolbar which I've already done there as you can see. So now let's click the button and we've got the larger set of options and similar to the options in version 16. So I want to do this and now I need to set up the analysis. Now the design I've got is I've got replicate samples looking at cover in the study plots at sites in particular zones of the mangroves. Now I will say these are invented data so this is just an invented example to illustrate the process. So I've got three factors in the design zone, site and study plot study plot is going to be nested within site and it's going to be a random factor because the study plots were just haphazardly chosen through that particular zone. And then I've got different study sites within the mangroves. Uh, we're talking about a large forest here so I can have separate sites within that forest but at each site I have all three zones. Uh, so you might think of site as a kind of transect down the shoreline. So let's start going. The response is cover. The factors are going to be all three here. So those, add those in. And I don't have any covariates, otherwise I'd specify them down here. And then I need to go start going through the buttons. Zone is not nested. Site is not nested because I have the all three zones at each site, so a better term for that might be transect. But plot is nestified, nestified, nested in site because it's a particular study plot in a site. Uh, zone site are fixed, and here I'm probably going to consider study plot to be a random factor. Uh, generally a nested factor would be a random factor but that's not always the case. The model. So you can see it's got main effects so I need to add in interactions and if you're not sure which interactions should be added you might need to speak to someone. So I've added in zone and site, or Minitab has added in zone and site and also the zone by plot interaction. Now that one shouldn't be there because a plot is a particular patch of ground and it's not present in all three zones. So the complete model is just this zone site plot as main effectors and a zone site interaction. Can't have a site by plot interaction because the plot is nested within the site and that also rules out a zone by site interaction. So that's the complete model. Options. I don't really need to change any of these. Type 3 is appropriate for an analysis of variance. If we're running a regression type model it would be sequential perhaps. Um, I'm not going to do a transformation, but it's nice to see that Minitab now provides automatically the log and square root transformations and also the general box box transformation. Um, I don't have to fiddle with the coding. Graphs, I like the 4-in-1 residual plot, so I'll put that up. And then what results. Um, I've got all of them ticked down here, but regression equation is not really relevant here. All that 
Um, the rest of those I will leave as is. Um, and then lastly, storage if I want some of this information stored, which I won't at this time. So that's it. I've specified the analysis and ticked all the options required to get this analysis to run correctly. So it's OK. And we've got the results here. And before doing that, I will go to the graph and look at the residual plot. Well, that's nice and normal. The points are falling pretty much along the straight line there, so that's also indicating normality. Hardly surprising, because they were randomly generated from a normal distribution. No particular pattern showing up there with signs of any oddities. And observation order would not be an issue with this, as they're not collected sequentially. So back to the panel result. Uh, summary of the design up there. Um, and then the analysis here. No significant effect because it's just randomly generated data. Um, and the terms I want to look at are the adjusted sum of the squares, the F values and the P values. Hopefully that helps you get started with analysis of variance in the new Minitab version.